Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hello friends, in this video I will show you a simple contactless ESP32 doorbell system with Blink. So here we have two units, indoor and outdoor. I have used IR sensor as a switch for bell, so it will be contactless and safe. For example, if someone arrives at the door, he has to show his hand in front of IR sensor. So at this moment, a notification will be sent of the person's image to the owner's mobile. Someone arrived. So the owner can see who has came and can also click some more pictures if he want from the app. If the owner wants to open the door, he can open the lock from the mobile itself. The person waiting outside will see a green light that means door is open. Second thing is that if the person inside the room wants to go out, then he can press the button which is in the indoor unit and the lock will be open. You can even replace this button with an IR sensor. As I was not having another IR sensor to demonstrate you, so I've used this button. Code for both of them will be same. So let's get started with this video. For this project you will need a ESP32 cam, IR proximity sensor, UART TTL module, relay module, a button, 12 volt solenoid lock, buzzer or you can use a bell, breadboard, 12 volt power supply or batteries, LED and 1K resistor and some wires. Make these connections to program our ESP32 cam. Now open the Blink app from your smartphone, select new project, give your project a name, I am giving door security. Now select ESP32 dev board and click on ok. Now we will add the widget, first we will add image gallery, you can resize it and we will select the pin V1 that is virtual one. Now we will add a styled button to take pictures. You can even resize this and we will go to settings, go to pin and select GPIO 14. GP 14. Now give a label, take photo or you can say take picture. Now we'll add another button for the lock. The pin for this is GP12. We'll select GP12, digital GP12. Give the name for this. And now we'll select notification. You don't need to do any settings for this. Just place it in your app. That's it. Now we are done. Now open the code. This is modified from the web server example. Here we have defined the pins. And below this, these are the credentials. You have to enter your Wi Fi name and your Wi Fi password and the Blink authentication code. This code is sent to you at your email address by Blink. Copy that code and paste it. At the end of our code, I have written all the conditions of our system. You can check it out or even you can modify it. Now select all these options. Select the port and upload the code.
After compiling, press the reset button on your ESP32 board. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor, select the baud rate. Now remove this jumper from IO0 and ground and press the reset button. That's it, now you are done. Now follow the circuit diagram to make this system. I have given label to all the components, you can see it. You can replace the button with IR sensor, the rest of the connections will be same.
Now our project is ready. We have indoor unit and outdoor unit. I am using this IR sensor as a button so it will be contactless. You can even use IR sensor in the indoor unit. The connections will be same and the code will also be same. The indoor unit consists of solenoid lock, relay and this buzzer. You can use your bell also, doorbell. And the outdoor unit consists of ESP cam and the IR sensor and some LEDs. Now assume that this is the door of my house. I have connected outdoor unit in front of the door and indoor unit is placed at the back. As I have shown my hand to wire sensor, the bell rings and the notification with my image is sent to my mobile. So now here you can also click more pictures. My Wi-Fi connectivity is a little bit slow, so it's working slow. So now if you want, you can open the door lock with your smartphone by pressing this button. A green light will be on, so the person waiting outside will be indicated that the door is open. Now if the person inside the room wants to go out then he can press this button so the lock will be opened and closed automatically. So friends I hope you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below and share this video as much as possible and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.